Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to model a structure. So this is the drawing, the CAD file that I just opened. And as you can see here, that each corner has a 12 by 12 inches column. So each corner, apart from that, if I look at these grids, almost every intersection has a column. The only thing is these two columns, which will appear on the intersection, We'll have to move them on the side and there's one this column which has to move on at this corner. And then we have beams that are running all along the periphery plus along the, the longitudinal dimension. So let's go to our Revit menu and let's create a new. This time we'll create a project using a structural template. Click OK. So it has opened the structural template. Let's go ahead and insert and link our original architecture model example file. Make sure this is auto origin to origin. Click open and it has opened the project. Let's move our elevational markers to the right place so that right here. Let's go to an elevational view. Let's click on the model. Let's spin it. Okay, once it is pinned, let's go to collaborate and let's go to copy monitor, select link. What we need, we need to copy the levels of the grids. So click on copy multiple, select everything. Filter out everything but levels in the grids. So click OK. Let's finish. Let's go to copy monitor and finish again. So those levels are copied. Let's go to other elevation, west side. So we copied grade 1 through 5. Let's copy grades A, B, C, D. Copy monitor, select link. Select this link when it highlights. Copy multiple. Let's select everything. Filter out everything but grids. We already copied levels, so we don't have to worry about them. Click OK, say finish, and let's finish again. So once that is done, let's organize our project browser. So right now these levels are by default. We don't want to use them. So let's create some structural plans. So click on view, plan view, and go to structural plan. Let's select first floor. That's what we want. Let's select roof and second floor. Let's also select top of footing because it's a structural project. So we are concerned with even top of the footing. Click OK. And now those plans, those structural plans have been created. Let's go ahead and delete the old ones. We don't need them. All we need is first floor, second floor, roof and top of footing. So let's go to our first floor plan. So let's go ahead and insert columns first. So click on structure. Go on to column. Uh, we know that we don't need steel column. What we need is a concrete column. So let's click on one of the columns. Let's choose 12 by 18 and we know that we don't need a rectangular column we need a square column which is 12 by 12 inches so click on edit type duplicate it and let's make it 12 by 12 click ok let's also change its height so it's one by one click ok so now we have two options either we can go and start putting columns you know by location or we can use this option it's add grids so let's use this option let's click on add grids let's click here and now what you can do is you can select a grid so select the first grid and then press ctrl and select all other grids okay on one side so you know that we have selected these grids but when i select the, this grid it's gonna take these intersections and it's automatically gonna insert columns so if i click here you see that it's inserted those columns so if I click here, it will insert all the columns at the intersections. So if you have a huge project which has so many columns, you can actually use this option to insert your columns at the intersection of these grids. Once it is done, click on finish and it has created those columns. So click on modify and now we don't really need this column, right? So delete this. We don't really need this column. Delete it. And if you remember from our model that you know we don't need this column here so what we need is click on this column control and select this column and let's move it from here to here so if you remember in our cat file those two columns were not here now we also need to move this column actually somewhere here because if you see that there's a 45 degrees angle and we need that column here now we don't know where exactly that line is so one good way is to go back and change our architectural model and let's insert a grid there because it's the architect who will be guiding us where exactly he wants that column. So let's go back to our architecture model. So let me save this model and 
tools. And let me open that architecture model again. Okay. Okay. So let's let's insert two grids. So what we want is right now those columns are here, but we actually want this column to come at to this column okay and then this column which is showing up here should be here okay so let's let's create a grid here okay let's click on grid and let me take this point right here and let's let me create a grid e here and let me take this point and let me create a grid f and then i can go back and change it to five save it close it and let's open on our structural project that we are working on this one so when it opens you see that grid here we don't really have those grids here and we don't really have to copy them why because we can use them as a reference so let's use them as a reference rather than them copying in the model so let's click on this column and move it so from here we want to move it to this one similarly we want this column here so what, what you want to do is you want to match, you know, the columns with the grid that is coming from architecture mode. So now everything looks fine. So we are in first floor view. So let's click on one. Let's select all instances visible in the view. Copy all of them to clipboard and paste align to second floor and also top of the foot. So that's what we want. Click OK. And if you go in your 3D view, those columns have been pasted. Now we'll have to go into the top of the view and this top of the footing view and change its top to the first one. Okay, so let's go to this, select on one, click on one column, select all instances visible in this view. And you see here the the top level is first floor, but it has an offset of one foot six inches. So make this offset zero. And if I go back to the 3D view, I see that they are not they're coming. And they're not overlapping with the upper level column. All right. We also don't need this column actually. So at the corner, we don't need this column. So in our cat file, we have columns at the diagonal, but not at the corner. So once that is done, let's go back and check them. If this everything looks fine here, let's go ahead and insert footings. So for that, we need to go to top of footing. Okay. Here, let's go back to structure. Click on isolated footing. So right now it's is six feet by four feet and the depth is one foot six inches so let's click on edit type let's duplicate and let's make it four feet by four feet so 48 inches by 48 inches and let's give it a depth of 12 inches click ok let's change the size so depth should be one foot four feet width length should be four feet and click ok just like column i mean i can prefer to say add column and i can just select the column but I can also use add grid option so if you have a huge project I would always recommend using this add grids option so let's select a grid and then control and select all these grids this grid is not a part of if you remember we haven't copied and we are not copying and monitoring this grid so we cannot select them but that's okay click on finish so we have those foundations or this footings copied let's delete the extra one that we don't need and let's move these to this column so click on this control click this one and move them from here to here let's also move this or we can always delete them and we also don't need this column and we can always go back to footing isolator and say at column so we want to put on this column control this column okay and say finish so we can use both the option either we can choose to have them put at the grid intersection or we can go and individually select those columns to put these footings so let's go to 3d view and you see that it's the footing has been put in place and footing will automatically go to the top of the footing level okay just it will go and attach to the bottom of the column once that is done let's go back to our header line view and let's start inserting beams so click on beam we don't want steel beams so let's select a concrete beam and let's stick to 12 by 24 okay if you want you can change its type but to save time i'm not explaining you that here you know very well how to do that but before you start putting them here make sure that this 3d snapping is checked okay so that you can snap in 3d so we know that there is a beam here all along okay so let's first create that so let's click on here and let's click on here okay 
and then we can always here to here let's put these views first and we can also always change the size of these beams later on by selecting one by one or together so what we did we just completed these beams at the periphery of the building now we know that we had beams along the longitudinal direction so let's do that and just to show you the cat file so if we see here and if i let me just extend this so we have the beams going this way right and then we need two beams going this way okay but let's finish the remaining beams so let's put a beam from here to here and then we need two beams one from here to this perpendicular one from here to there okay and i think we need to change or you know let's delete this part also let's go to the roof plan view and let's put these beams let's go to beam Make sure the, the reference level is roof and let's put this beam 12 by 24 from here to here and then escape and I'm going to draw here to somewhere here. Okay. Once that is done, let's go back to our 3D view. Then we know that all the beams have been drawn. So let's go back to roof level. All we need to do is click on one, select all instances visible in the view, copy to clipboard and paste, align to selected levels. We want it to go to second floor and first floor. Okay, and if you go in 3D view, those have been copied. So there will be plinth beam at the first floor level, second floor level beams, and then the roof level beams. And there will be a roof on top of that. You can see it in shaded. So that's the structure that you as a structural engineer will in include in the model and the architect will approve it and if the architect needs any change they inform you and you'll make those changes thanks for watching